A state audit of the Douglas County Treasurer reveals millions of dollars were over or underpaid to several school districts and cities. That's right. The bottom line is some school districts could lose millions while others see a big boost in their budgets. Through News Now reporter Isabella Basco is live in the newsroom for us to explain how we got here and what's next. A lot to unpack here, Mark and Mary. John Ewing, the Douglas County Treasurer, says this is a mistake that's been happening for 61 years. The Treasurer gets money annually from OPPD in lieu of taxes. The distribution of that money, though, is where the mistakes were made. For years, the Douglas County Treasurer's Office miscalculated millions to certain school districts and cities. That's what a recent audit by the state reveals. Money-wise. Who got overpaid? Combined, Omaha Public Schools, the City of Omaha, and Douglas County got overpaid more than $12 million in 2021 alone. Who was underpaid? Just last year, Elkhorn, Ralston, and Millard Public Schools got underpaid a total of more than $9 million, and Westside School District lost out on more than $3 million. This was not an intentional error on our part. This was simply a mistake in interpreting the state statute. What was the mistake? It stems back to interpretation of the law. John Ewing, the current treasurer, says they mistakenly believe that money should be proportionally distributed. If you look at the number of students in OPS, they have approximately 55,000 students in the city of Omaha. What we did was proportion the income based on the number of students that each of the school districts had. How could this have slipped through the cracks? John Cannon with the Nebraska Association of County Officials says there are various ways of calculating how the money can be distributed in a large and complex area like Douglas County. You're only as good as your software or your formulas, and if formula, if there's something off in the formula, then something's going to you know, not, not get uh, shuffled over there the right way. History-wise, why did this happen for 61 years? We didn't see where the formula didn't make sense. And then also, as we review this, we know that in 1994, there was an attempt by the legislature to make it proportional. So we had the interpretation for 61 years that it should be proportional. So what is the right formula? It should be based on the levy of each of these entities. Last year, Sarpy County also miscalculated OPPD payments, resulting in overpayments to some districts and underpayments to others. Ewing said that prompted his office to take a look at its procedures before the state auditor confirmed their suspicion. Finally, where do we go from here? We probably, we can stand to have a bit more clarity in how our laws are applied to um, this, this, this really very narrow area of property tax law, the, the payment in lieu of tax. Ewing doesn't know how long it will take to correct this issue and is meeting with all the school districts. I reached out to all of them for a comment with Elkhorn Public Schools telling me the district is concerned about this substantial loss of revenue and their Board of Education will review the findings. In the newsroom, Isabella Basco, 3 News Now.